So there's a strategy that I've been wanting to do for a little while and I think that this week's mutation mission in StarCraft 2 is the perfect mission to give it a try. It's called Special Delivery. Amon will stop at nothing to destroy you. Even in death his minions strike back at you with the final devastating gambit. Keep your distance as you dispatch your foes or you might join them in defeat. Now the reason why I think that this week's strategy is going to be perfect is because we're going to be playing on the Void Launch mission. The very first mutator is called Aggressive Deployment. Additional enemy units are periodically deployed onto the battlefield. Secondly, we have Self Destruction. Enemy units explode and deal damage to nearby player units upon death. And last but not least, there's also the Alien Incubation. Alright, so here's the plan, and I have no idea if this is gonna work out, but we're gonna play Static Defense Buddies, meaning that I am gonna be playing Swan, my ally will be playing Carex, and we're gonna focus on defensive structures only. So since I'll be focusing on the Draken Laser, as well as a ton of Static Defense, I've got the following mastery points. First off, I got the Concentrated Beam Width and Damage Increase. Secondly, for obvious reasons, I've got the Structure Health Increase as well. And last but not least, we also have the Laser Drill Build and upgrade time reduction. All right, so I've grouped up together with Sushi, who is going to be playing Carex. I myself will be playing Swan. Brutal has been selected. I think it's time to jump into it. Greetings, Commanders. My fellow scientists have determined that Amon is using Kaldir as a staging ground for his troop shuttles. The warp conduits he uses cannot be attacked, so you will need to destroy the shuttles themselves before they can warp away. Alrighty, so here we go. Now... It's actually Amon oh. has activated the central warp conduit. Be prepared to prevent the shuttles from escaping. Chrono boost online. Our structure should now operate at a greater uh, efficiency. I don't really know exactly what build I should be following here, but regardless, it is actually Sushi Kun's birthday today. So happy birthday, buddy. Thank you for helping me out every week right here with all of these mutation missions. We've been doing a wide variety of strategies and it's been a lot of fun so far. So thank you very much for helping me out. But regardless, so here's the thing, right? I want to try and play mass static defense. And I know that I need, you know, the factory to build a bunch of them. But I don't actually exactly know what my upgrades are going to be. I don't really know exactly. Do I need any gas? I'll just be getting a gas right here in the earlier part of the game. I'll be honest, I've never really played mass static defense before, definitely not on uh, on uh, on Swan, that is, at the very least. Obviously, the gold standard for Carex is to do exactly that. But we do have to keep in mind as well that there is a very big chance that a lot of units will indeed be dropped off, uh, you know, in these aggressive deployments close to our natural as well. So I think we will need to set up some static defense over on that side of the map here too. Um, I think we'll actually get started with that right from the get-go. So I'll be getting... A whole lot of flaming baddies, spinning dizzies, and blaster billies. Pretty cool. When you level them up over time, you get a lot of new nicknames for all these things as well. Don't actually think that we're going to need all that much gas. Although, you know, I guess I'll saturate it for now. There are maybe some upgrades that I can get, for example, in the engineering bay. Uh, we should probably have a look and maybe I should go ahead and set up a uh, defensive structure over here too. Just to deal with the early part of this, uh, of this game. I actually think once we get things going, right... We should have a pretty powerful setup. We should have a pretty powerful setup. Huh? Enemies coming for our base. Thought you might want to know. We can, of course, also aggressively um, power build out a lot of these structures. What exactly do I need to upgrade the Dragon Laser Drill again? I don't even know. It's been a little while. Anyway, here we go. Blaster Billy, ready to go? Oh, look at that formation. All right, enemy is Zerg, so we should definitely focus on some more of these flaming turrets instead. The flaming Bettys. Oh, I love it, though. So sick. Ooh, actually. Ooh. That's a lot of stuff. I did not quite anticipate that many units here from showing up already. Okay, this may actually become a little bit trickier than what I had originally anticipated. Alright, well, whatever. It's fine. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna need an armory here to upgrade that thing. So, at the very least, I should be focusing on getting an armory. And then also an engineering bay, because I think there are going to be some armor upgrades we can get over there. And, of course, we're gonna need that too if we wanna get ourselves um, the missile turrets as well. Because I think the missile turrets will be absolutely crucial. Considering we will need to shut down a lot of these shuttles. Now, here's one thing to keep in mind, right? I have a lot of build time. This commander has a lot of build time. I cannot just simply put down buildings in an instant uh, like my ally right here can. <sighs> Whew. All right, you know what? I'm going to have to uh, drop those down, I think. Because I definitely will need to get myself up some of these things. 
There's actually a lot of units here. Way more than what I had anticipated. Alright, that's actually a lot more aggression there than what I had anticipated. Let's go ahead and get upgrades here right from the get-go. Am I going to be able to clean this up? I don't actually know. Well, if my ally does it like that, I think we're going to be fine. All of these brute links as well, though. Ooh, there's a lot of units here. This is going to get messy real quick. Alright, we'll just get a variety of structures. I think that's a good idea. I've already got a pretty solid amount of income here. Upgrades are already coming in. Uh, let's have a look. So I should probably get all of these upgrades. So what does this one do? All structure fires are automatically extinguished and all structures automatically repair themselves to 50% of the maximum health. That's great. I also need the auto loaders. Increases the attack speed of all turns by 25%. Yes, please. Let's get, thing, uh, let's get things going. For the central warp conduit. Destroying them is your main objective. I can, of course, power build things, right? I can use several SCVs to, like, build one structure, but it's not particularly efficient. Can I queue that up easily? I don't know if they're all gonna, like, automatically go over right now. Anyway. No, this is not the most ideal way. I should just let them build individually, I think. It's probably a little bit faster that way. Anyway. Uh, plus one range to all turrets and plus one... Or plus two armor as well to all these things. Very important. Yeah, I was right. I am definitely gonna need some shenanigans over here. Wow, that was probably the most wasted beam I've ever done in my life. Alright, alright. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need some static defense here as well. That beam was not as great as I had anticipated, but this one here in the middle should be fine. This one here in the middle should be alright. They actually help each other out automatically? Ooh. Advanced constructions, there we go. That's very good. Apparently you can automatically toggle that on. I'm learning so many things about Swan today. Normally I just play the maxed out, you know, shenanigans, I suppose. I like how we have to use all of our big cooldowns just to try and get this to work, but... We have contained the target successfully. I love it. Zelnaga shrines nearby are reacting to Amon's armies. Researching them may provide useful intel, but we will need an escort. I don't know if we're gonna have escorts available, to be completely honest with you, buddy. Alright, let's go ahead and get the Draken Laser Drill upgraded once again. It increases its damage dramatically. Um, I don't think this is going to provide me with that many upgrades that I'm actually gonna need. Not really, no. Let's just simply get the high sec auto tracking as well as the structure armor. Should be a lot of fun. This is actually looking pretty solid already, though. I should try and send over a couple of SCVs in this direction. With a couple, I mean like... And it is moving quite rapidly. Do you think this is Our enough? Response will have to be just as swift. All right, we are gonna be able to do that, but just barely. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started with some of these things. So if I put them on, yeah, they will actually automatically start constructing it all at once. That's super awesome, actually. I had no idea you could actually toggle on advanced construction. That is great, that makes this so much easier. So normally I play Swan, right? And this is something that I tried out when I initially leveled them up like a year or so ago. We must be ready. I tried this out about a year or so ago when I first leveled them up, but ever since I've mostly just been focusing on getting as many, you know, static uh, units out. Like for example, Siege Tanks and Thors and whatnot as well, but not necessarily all of the static defense here. So middle is also under a bunch of threat here. I'll just send them that way. Boop. There we go. Deals a lot of damage. Whew. Transport has Killed a lot of units there. I love it. Alright, here we go. Yeah, there's actually a lot of units here. Perfect. But I think that this one will be taken care of beautifully. Look at that. The spinning dizzy is dealing so much damage. I love it. I definitely want to get some more of these flaming turrets out as well, though. Because they are, they are very nice. Uh, let's get the armor HP as well. Do I want to use that here? I don't know if that's worth it, but... At the very least, it should make it a little bit more doable. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need some help here, I'm afraid. As long as we can deal with all of these counterattacks and whatnot, we're gonna be alright. It's just that there are so many Zerklings now everywhere, as well as a Mutalisk, that is going to make this significantly more tricky. I'll start up with some structures over on this side of the map too. And eventually, 
We will be able to clean things up once again. Very nice. Yeah, middle was completely getting massacred though. Not exactly what I had anticipated. This is so fast. It's actually pretty crazy. A warp conduit is powering up, and a wave of shuttles is bearing toward it. All right, I got a lot of additional SCVs right now. It's moving fast too. All right, let's go blow it up. There we go. All right, so this side of the map is gonna be the more tricky one. I am definitely gonna need some help. Because otherwise, uh, I think we are going to be in a little bit of trouble. He's definitely... Uh, look at him. He's already setting up so many defensive structures here as well. I like it a lot. Uh, let's continue setting up some more, though. Thanks. Ooh. This is the aggressive deployment once again. Okay. Concentrated beam is now available. Okay. Yeah, these drop pots are really annoying. But as long as we... Like, I think I should have just made some more static defense over here. Close to our base. If we would have done the, uh, if we would have done that right from the get go, I think we would have had a really quite an easy time. I just have to be prepared, you know. If I'm not prepared for the all of these things, we should move to we're in trouble. But so far, considering I've got all of the engineering bay upgrades right now, this is looking rather powerful. I'm trying to decide if I need to make any more upgrades. Let's just get a starport here, just in case. I seem to have more than enough. There we go. And these missile turrets deal so much damage. Look at them. They are absolutely shutting down those shuttles with ease. Oh, I love it. This is one of my favorite things about playing Cold. Well done, warriors. Well done indeed. It's one of my favorite things about playing Cold. Once you get to, uh, you know, your standard strategy, to start mixing it up instead and just go for a wide variety of, like, funny things that... You come up with and you decide to just simply give them a try and then they work out as well. Like, you can come up with something funny and actually execute it. Alright, I think that middle is once again going to be next. Now, by the way, this is a strategy that um, was suggested to me by a viewer. I've been reading the comments as much as I can. And a lot of you have been coming up with some great strategies as well. So if you have any recommendations, definitely feel free to let me know. I always read the comments of all of my videos, or at least I try to read every single last one of them. I think that we've got enough over here. I actually am still getting a pretty solid amount of income though, all things considered. I just need to make sure that we don't an lose our base. Enemy attack. They are moving swiftly. We've got a, quite a lot of idle workers as well. I got a beam for the one on the right. Alright. I got explosion. No! The transport vessel. Maybe you should have not sent it out, uh, Cartwright. Yeah, that's still gonna be a lot of stuff though. I don't know if this is working as well as intended. But we're making pretty good progress. Alright. Let's do a big explosion here. There we go. Oh, those shuttles are down. Those shuttles have no issues anymore. There we go. Sent the beam across. Boop. That was fast. I should, uh, I should really send some idle SCVs as well. To watch uh, every side of the map, I think. Just so uh, they can go ahead and continue repairing them. Can I actually repair? <gasps> I am repairing all of his structures as well. I'm actually repairing all your stuff. It's awesome. I'm repairing all of his shuttles. I didn't even realize that until just now. We're detecting your main objective. A wave of shuttles inbound on an active conduit. That thing's booking on out of here. We gotta move fast. Okay. Got a couple of those things ready to go. Actually, I should probably just go ahead and set up as many of those things as we can. I love it though. This is so sick. If you guys, once again, right, if you've got a great recommendation for a strategy, let me know down below in the comment section of the video. Hey, my camera ran out? Yo, what's up? My name is Loco. <laughs> Did you miss me? My face is back in action. I don't know how long that wasn't running for. Oh, here we go. Oh, just peachy. Lovely. 
Get him going. Woo! Okay, well, that's a little bit more than what I had anticipated, but I think we're still gonna clean this up. Woo! Easily, actually. You have prevented the shuttle's escape. Are you kidding me? The objective has been halted. That was actually very clean. Like, this is working way better than what I had anticipated. I'm a little worried for all the Brute Lords and whatnot, because they are going for a pretty powerful late game army. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I can't really complain about this either. Let's leave, like, two SCVs over there. We'll leave, like, two of them over here as well. Look at this. Nothing's gonna break that, right? I don't think anything will. So, next up is gonna be the uh, the right-hand side once again. We'll just continue building up more and more turrets. Another wave of shuttles is headed for a warp convoy. As long as I make sure that I've got, you know, bases we'll mining, we're fine. Down. I don't think there's any more upgrades that I can get, right? Let's just go ahead and get some of these uh, tech reactor things as well, just to make sure that I'm getting everything. But I'm pretty sure that I've gotten every upgrade Our that I can. We could even, now. if we were really worried, I could even, like, salvage a lot of these structures as well. And uh, just simply move over a lot of the structures, which I assumed I would need to at some point, but... There we go. It appears the enemy is advancing. Oh no. Prepare to I didn't mean to uh, salvage you. Just go ahead and continue setting up more. Once again, a big amount of units are coming in though. I can just simply beam them down. Boop! Our cooldowns are really sick. Uh, that's a lot more units than what I had anticipated, though. But still, looks like we're dealing with it. All right. Come on, nuke them down! What? The nukes do so much damage. Are you kidding me? The shuttles are already gone. I didn't even realize the nuke deal that much damage. That's insane. Our objective has been failed. All right. Uh, let's continue setting up more stuff over here. This one is definitely next. It's been a little while since, uh, well, I'm assuming at the very least that this one is next. It's been a little while since this one got any, any action. There we go. Perfect. Alright, alright. The nice thing is, I can actually play this with one hand if I needed to. Every now and then I, uh, I mean, every now and then I'm gonna have to, uh, Combat drop ready. hold down shift, I guess, to, uh, construct more and more of these things. Maybe select some idle workers with a hotkey as well, but... I'm pretty sure that with a good strategy, everyone can do Brutal. Like, this is this is not a particularly hard strategy, okay? The one that I'm doing right here. Pretty sure you can just, you know, play a couple of games and figure it out. So there's only really one wave remaining. This is the final wave. We've lost contact with the research team. Yeah, the research team went out in the open. Got some bad guys coming after our base. Doing a whole lot of nothing interesting. I will have to be careful here, though. I don't have a big cooldown right now. Okay. Trying to fill in all of the pieces. Whew. There's actually a really big one coming right now in the center. We'll need to set up more turrets. The faster I can set them up, the better it will be. Let's move you guys over there so you ate the others here with this shenanigans. I got beams and whatnot coming in here in just a second. There's a Leviathan, but these shuttles will most definitely go down. There's a big push coming over here as well. Let's go ahead and send a beam across the map. Pop those ones easily. That should hit the center right here as well. And with that, we have indeed prevented zero. Or actually, <laughs> brother. <laughs> we have prevented zero from escaping right there. No, we, uh, we uh, made sure that none of them escaped, and actually, all things considered, this worked out so much nicer than what I had anticipated. Alrighty, so there we have it. 235,000 XP. Now, obviously, we do have quite a few mastery levels, but I'm pretty sure you could pull something like this off uh, with relative ease as well if you didn't have any mastery levels whatsoever. As far as statistics go, I actually killed a lot more units and structures. I was gonna make the assumption here that Carrox was gonna be the one that would absolutely carry everything. Just because he is so very well known for his mass aesthetic defense style. But I gotta, I gotta say here, Swan seems to work out just fine. 
Obviously, um, Karaks did need to spend quite a couple of resources as well to uh, to upgrade his Spear of Adun, but everything worked out just fine, and I actually ended up killing 2,105 units there in total. That's insane. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did and you haven't already, do make sure you hit that like button down below, and if you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get a notification as soon as I upload more. Massive shout out right there to all of the Patreon supporters for their continued support. You guys are bloody awesome, but for now, I want to thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile alright, and I'll see you in the next one.